We lined up Sunday morning in gates along with dozens of other vehicles, then through the roadblock, escorted by sheriff's deputies heading east. All along the way, we could see the trees burned up on both sides of Highway 22. And then we arrived in Detroit, a city that today is not what it used to be. Some of the landmarks are just gone. Before, Cedar's Restaurant greeted you on the west side of town. Now its iconic sign is the only thing rising over the rubble. City Hall is leveled by fire. So is the fire station. Only a burned out fire engine is left, parked on the street. And one street over. Today is the first time we got a chance to come out here. And it's very, um, what an amazing sight, I think. Just the drive up here and it's, a pretty sad situation right now for everyone, I think. Alma Barajas and her husband are looking over what's left of their second home, a place the Salem couple visited a lot before more recently making it a rental. They have fond memories of summers in Detroit. Everybody just comes out here and has a wonderful time. Right now, the quietness and you, there's the atmosphere of, of silence here right now. I think everybody's just trying to, you know, get back into, you know, the swing of things. But if you see the wheel there. Dan and Christy McMorlin are back to assess their truck and camper. There's nothing to save. The couple was returning to Salem from Central Oregon when they hit a rock on the road as the fire raged east of Idana. They made it to Detroit after changing a tire. Changing a tire in a firestorm, everything after that was a piece of cake. Except it, for the smoke and you couldn't see. Breathe, it really, it really was a piece of cake after that because this was, the, it was, this was bad. It was there. Their son had modified the Ford Ranger to make it really special. It is very hard to. It's very hard, and I know it's, it's just stuff and it can be replaced, but it's, it's a sentimental value. We also spoke to the mayor of Detroit, and he says, while it's awful to see all the damage and destruction, he also points out that there is plenty of life still here. You can see it in the green trees around. He says that's a sure sign there'll be a comeback in Detroit. And so that gives us hope. Um, and we've come from uh, devastation to we're going to rebuild it. Uh, tremendous support from, from volunteers calling, emailing, saying, let us know what you need and when you need it. We have our moments where it's just hit you over the head and, and you cry a little bit, but uh, then you start thinking about the things that, that are positive here. In Detroit, Tim Gordon, KGW News.